to the NetMotion webinar about our new product launch. My name is John Bailey. I'm the Director of Field Engineering for NetMotion. I've been here for about five years now, and uh, essentially anybody in the field that uh, is technical that you might have worked with, um, they would report to me. So uh, again, been here about five years. Really excited to talk about some of this new functionality with, with everyone here. And Eric, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? Great. Thanks, John. Well, uh, good morning and uh, good afternoon, everyone, joining us today. Um, this is Eric Helms with NetMotion, and uh, I'm pleased to welcome you um, to today's webinar. Um, today we've got a mixture of valued partners, existing customers, as well as new potential customers, and uh, very exciting to talk about our new groundbreaking product, um, NetMotion Diagnostics. Um, next slide, please, John. So it, the, the presentation for today is, is really intended as a sort of a medium to high level overview of our diagnostics product. Um, the webinar is scheduled to run about 30 minutes or so, um, including time for Q&A at the end. Um, we are happy to schedule a deep dive um, and live demonstration for anybody that's on the line today. So please make sure um, if you'd like to do so to follow up with us after the webinar. Um, because of the size of the group, uh, we do have everybody on mute. So a couple of housekeeping items. Please type in any questions that you may have into the question control panel box, and we'll respond to as many of them as we can um, at the end of the, the webinar during the, the Q&A. Um, this is being recorded today. So as a follow-up to the webinar, you will be receiving an automated email with both the presentation content that you can download, uh, as well as a link to the recorded webinar um, that you can review or, or forward on to colleagues as appropriate. Okay, next slide. Well, this is a very, very, <coughs> excuse me, very exciting time for NetMotion Wireless. You know, we've been in the enterprise mobility space really since the infancy in the industry and have been a pioneer, you know, for almost 15 years today counting more than a million users around the world, connected and using our software on a daily basis to be able to perform critical tasks in the field to do their job. Right? Over more than a decade, we continue to push the envelope of what is possible uh, with mobile technology. And along the way, we've redefined product categories. You know, and our laser focus has always been the common denominator to all mobile deployments but also the biggest challenge, um, next slide please, John, which is really all about connectivity, right? So connectivity is king. The ability for a user to get connected and stay connected reliably is absolutely fundamental you know, to a successful mobile deployment. However, when there are connectivity issues that arise and there will always be problems, how users and IT are able to identify and resolve these issues so that they can get back to work and do their jobs is absolutely paramount. Okay? And this is where NetMotion is really redefining what's possible with our diagnostics product. Next slide, please, Sean. So over the years, for those of you who are already familiar with NetMotion, you're probably familiar with our mobility product, right? So if we start there, you know, mobility really is a next generation intelligent VPN, okay? Everything that we do uh, with the mobility product is designed around making the user experience better, more reliable, you know, adding additional layers of security, visibility, control, management over deployment, so that you have both the optimum user experience, you know, with the highest levels of productivity and security, in a way that is easier to manage and more agile for IT and the business. Okay? Now with our new diagnostics product, which is, which is both available as a module within our mobility product and as a standalone product that works with any other VPN technology or no VPN at all, um, we're really taking it to the next level. Okay? So our mobility product today, you know, not only is it the you know, the, the fastest performing, most reliable VPN in the world, it's now also the only end-to-end -end self-diagnosing VPN connectivity solution on the market. Okay? And so with that, I'm going to turn it over to John to go into more detail 
um, of the diagnostic, diagnostics product. John? Great. Thanks, Eric. Um, yeah, it, it, like Eric said, it's a really exciting time for us. And if you think about, you know, 15 plus years in this business and over a million users, I, I mean, we've really seen many, many, many mobile deployments. Now, as Eric mentioned, you know, the common denominator to all of them is, is, you know, connectivity is key. And that's what we've really focused on, overall improving the user experience with connectivity and finding ways to make it better, to make it perform faster, to make it more intelligent. But even so, at some point, there's going to be, you know, an issue, whether it's a connectivity issue or some other issue. And so that's sort of the next piece that we started to focus on is, Let's look at these mobile users in the field, and when there are problems, how do those problems get reported, right? If you think about, you know, a typical mobile user, they have a mobile device, a tablet, a smartphone, a, maybe a tough book, or even just a laptop. They have a device that is a tool that they use to perform a certain job. The job that they're performing may or may not necessarily be an IT-type job, right? So when they report a problem, it's typically that they're unable to work. The application's not working. You know, they can't connect. You know, the, the messages that come back can be very, very vague in terms of where the root of the problem is. Now, if you look at, at sort of this pathway on the bottom part of the slide, regardless of how the user is performing in the field, right, if they're out in a remote location, you know, out in the middle of the oil field, or they're working on a utility pole, or maybe they're in someone's office, you know, maybe they're a consultant, or even a work from home employee. If you think of the pathway that the traffic traverses to get back to the application, it's generally speaking the same. And each touch point is where the problem could arise, right? If you think there could be a problem with the tablet itself. Maybe there's something wrong with its Wi-Fi card. It can't connect to the local Wi-Fi. There could be that, that piece is working fine, but maybe that local Wi-Fi is having issues or it's having issues getting to the internet. You know, it could even be that the user can get all the way back into the internal network, but something has changed internally and it can't actually access the application server. And it's a tough job for an IT help desk to pinpoint where the problem arises, where the problem is located, you know, essentially over the phone. You know, they may be asking the user to run some tests that they're not familiar with, or potentially they're able to log into a WebEx and run these tests themselves. But even then, you know, it's very time consuming to, to locate the problem so then they can start troubleshooting where the problem is. So what if they could run all of these tests with a push of a button? And that is what net motion diagnostics is all about. Diagnostics is really the ability for an end user to simply push a button whenever they have a problem, and it will run a series of tests at each of these connection points, okay? It not only runs these tests, but then it will automatically send these, the results of these tests up to a console that the IT help desk can then log into and see detailed information on what occurred at each, at each point in the pathway. And again, the goal there is really to give IP, IT a direction to pinpoint where they should start their troubleshooting. So, and, and I mentioned it's a series of extensive tests. So, you know, we're testing much more than just what a simple, you know, IT help desk person might script through. We're testing things like, you know, even though I have a connection, is there packet loss? You know, it, it, even though my adapter might be active, you know, does it have a valid IP address? Can it reach the next hop? Can I actually reach the internet? And, and what does that mean? We actually host servers that we can guarantee their uptime. And not only will we validate that a device can reach those servers, but we'll also validate that it can even pull down data from those servers. So we will do things like, okay, let me make sure I can resolve that name that, that we're hosting. Let me make sure I can ping to it. Let me make sure I can do a get on the data and then when I get the data, let me do a checksum and validate that the data came through okay. You know, because there could be a, a, a case where maybe the internet connectivity is there, but for whatever reason, you know, there's so much interference or there's so much latency that they're not getting back the, the data or the data's not coming back soundly. And, and that would be a, a location to start troubleshooting. The great thing also about this is not only do we always do these series of extensive tests, but 
you as the customer or even the consultant helping a customer with this product, you could actually create your own customized test. And, and what's great about this is these are the tests that you would run inside the network. So we're going to validate the user can get to the network, okay? But what about the next hop? What about, you know, maybe a, a gateway internally that, or a router that's critical to routing? Can they reach that? You know, has something changed internally, potentially an internal firewall changed, and it's now blocking that traffic? Or what if the application server itself is down? You know, we can actually do a connection you know, TCP connect directly to that server on the port that it listens on and validate, okay, not only can the user get all the way there, but they can't connect on that port. Something is either blocking that particular port or the application server is not accepting traffic on that port. And again, this is all about pinpointing where the problem exists so that's where IT can focus their efforts. You know, rather than focusing their efforts on trying to determine that with the end user, they have all the information they need. Now, Eric pointed this out earlier, but just to emphasize, you know, we do some integration with our mobile VPN with this product. However, this is, is, a, is or can be a standalone product. So even if you're not using our mobile VPN technology or maybe you have a subset of users that, that aren't using it, you know, potentially someone that works from home all the time, this could still be a tool that they could use to help you troubleshoot issues that they might have in the field, right? If you think of a home user potentially there's going to be problems with their local internet connection or maybe their local Wi-Fi router is having issues. And to them, again, at the end of the day, it, it just comes down to, I can't connect. There's a problem with the application. Now, what we'll do when we run these tests is we will give the user some feedback. So we will give them a sort of a high-level view of where we think the problem is. You know, we may say, you know, um, Maybe you know, the internet connectivity is great, but they can't connect to their application. Let's say it's SAP. You know, you could create your custom test that says, okay, you know, SAP failed. And then if they wanted to, maybe they could provide that when they call into the help desk, knowing, though, that this report is also being sent to the help desk. If they, they're savvy, they can drill down into some of these tests to see the results themselves. But again, the full results are sent up to a console that then the IT administrator can go in or the IT help desk can go in and start to look at the data to pinpoint where the problem is. Now, one of the additional things that we do, if that device also has GPS enabled, so if it has some sort of GPS receiver, maybe a built-in air card with GPS, not only will we grab all this information and run these series of tests, but we'll also grab their location. So, you know, we developed this product with really working with some of our really large accounts and asking them how they troubleshoot devices in the field. We even went to our own help desk, our own support desk, and said, you know, when a, when a NetMotion user calls in with a problem, how do you troubleshoot? And one of the things that came back from a lot of our large customers is not only do they want these test results, but they do want to know where the, that user was because you know, that helps them to, to work maybe you know, in that environment, if that's where the, the problem is, and maybe it's a field that they support, and okay, now I know that one corner has issues, and they actually have that location. The other thing, along with doing these diagnostics, is, you know, we really started thinking about how much additional value we could provide. We've got this easy button that the user can run. We could potentially run it automatically. You know, there's the ability to script a test to run. We could do that by some sort of trigger, maybe creating some sort of policy that when they get on a certain network that has had problems, periodically run a test behind the scenes just to get the result. But we also thought that what's really important as well is alerting. So not only do I want the ability to, to run these tests to allow my users to, to run them, but also run them automatically, potentially, but let me alert the help desk when a test fails. So in other words, I can run these tests and have all my users running them you know, at different times when they think they might have a problem, but I'm going to alert the help desk when one of them did fail a particular test. And that alerting can happen either via SMS or it can happen via um, an email. So it could be an email alias that you know, includes the help desk. It could be a text to a couple key accounts um, or key personnel that need to work on a particular problem. And the, the alerting is around diagnostics, but we also have some additional alerting specifically on the cellular connections. 
you know, we, we work a lot with carriers, and so we do a lot of work, you know, with cellular in general. And one of the, the common, you know, requests that we were getting for large deployments of cellular data is that they would like to know things such as, you know, alert me when a device in the field has gone over a certain amount of usage on the cellular data plan. And so a simple test would be, let me know if, if any device in my, in my mobile deployment goes over a gig of data on cellular, I need to be, I need to be notified immediately. And maybe that, that kind of notification is a text message to you know, a manager level. And they, they can then investigate to see what's happening. Because again, what we're kind of finding in the last couple of years is you know, cellular, is, the speeds are so fast that a lot of users are on cellular doing things that they don't realize they're actually on cellular. They may sort of think they're on Wi-Fi because you know, the performance is so great and they might be streaming things that is just using up a lot of data and this is a nice easy way to find out immediately when that happens. Now again I mentioned there's two ways these can be sent. Um, they can be sent via an SMS text. Um, you can customize the information that's sent so you know whoever gets that alert has some intelligent information about what, why they're getting alerted. Um, and you can send it via an, an email. And again same thing, it can be customized um, it's, it's going to say what the issue is if it's a diagnostic, um, or at least what we think the issue is. And again, this is a good way to send it to maybe an email alias that then goes out to the group of IT help desk folks, and maybe that automatically generates a ticket. So the user has self clicked the self-help button, sends the data up to a server, or I'm sorry, a console that, that the IT can then work with. A text is sent or an email is sent and maybe a ticket is automatically open in the system. So it can be very, very efficient where the user didn't need to pick up the phone. They can move on and start doing their job while IT is troubleshooting the problem. So Eric, why don't I hand it over to you a little bit to maybe talk yeah. about some use cases? Sure. Great. Thanks, John. Nice, nice job. So, um, so, so this is a brand new product in the marketplace that, again, we think when you factor in the end-to-end um, device to enterprise and the customized test nature of the product is something that is truly unique. So, so a lot of the use cases are, are now just starting to pop up as our customers and prospects and partners you know, start to, to test and to implement the technology. But there, there are several examples that have already sort of bubbled to the surface and I think one of the ones that I've seen the most often over the years that would be directly impacted by the diagnostics capability is really the triage between um, the end user company, the mobile operator, a wireless carrier providing connectivity to that company, the mobile device manufacturer that that company uses, and potentially an application vendor, and potentially NetMotion if, if they're using our mobility product already. And one of the things that we've seen time and time again is the necessity um, and the request from the, the various partners involved that when a customer has a significant connectivity problem, because it's so difficult to isolate and identify the root cause and ultimately the resolution, you end up spending a lot of cycles triaging amongst the different players involved about what's going on, right? So I've had so many requests over the years for conference calls between three or four or maybe even five companies um, with multiple representatives to you know, identify an issue that you know, potentially diagnostics could identify with the click of a button or even in an automated fashion you know, based on a trigger um, for a connectivity problem in the field. So I think that there, when we look at resolving or removing some of the resources involved in common troubleshooting scenarios related to connectivity, you know, we're expecting that we might be able to re remove as much as 75 to 90 percent of that overhead for those difficult to isolate problems, right? So, so there's one example there. You know, the, the other example would be, you know, for those of you in time sensitive and, and mission critical types of, of mobile environments, you know, the ability to create alerts to notify um, IT and the business about problems in the field before they're even reported, you know, really says a lot about the ability to improve operational efficiencies and and uh, and eliminate downtime. So, you know, th this is something that, in fact, we we're implementing in our own tech support group, right, where we have the ability to 
to push out a diagnostics client to a customer that doesn't have it already uh, and use an internal um, or one of our cloud systems to be able to, to actually isolate a connectivity issue for a customer who doesn't yet use this product, right? So, so a lot of scenarios here, everything from you know, enterprise help desk to mobile operators to device manufacturers to software vendors. Um, to customers, you know, empowering themselves. So, lots of uh, of good scenarios here. Um, next slide, please, John. So, and and just to sort of tie it all up together, again, when we look at our core mobility product, diagnostics is a powerful new module available that integrates within that solution via our cloud system, but it is also available as a standalone product, right? So, again, we're focused on really four pillars that we think are key to successful mobile computing. So providing a connectivity experience that exceeds your user's expectations, um, that you're also able to ensure uh, is secure, you know, understanding what's going on with your mobile deployment from a visibility and an analytics perspective. So real time and historical metrics about how users are leveraging the mobile technologies that you've provided them you know, much more granular control over your deployment from a productivity reasons, for cost reasons, for security reasons, you know, for usability reasons. And then finally now empowering, you know, um, support and the business and the user um, with diagnostics and the ability to quickly get back to work um, when connectivity problems uh, arise. So, so definitely exciting technology. And again, we'll, um, we'll open it up for some questions here. And, uh, and remember that um, just as with our mobility products, any partners or customers out there that are interested in testing diagnostics, we can very easily make a test environment available for you. Uh, very simple, just to load um, you know, the, the agent software onto any one of the number of mobile devices and um, point it to a cloud instance that we dedicate to you and, uh, and, and be off and testing uh, diagnostics in your own environment. So. Um, with that, John, I'll, uh, I'll kind of turn it back to you to uh, open up and field the questions um, via the, the, uh, the questions bar there. The sure, yeah. Thanks, Eric. And um, yeah, everyone just, if you do have questions, like, like we mentioned at the beginning, everybody's on mute, on mute just because of the, the sheer number of, of folks. So please use the question bar on the right. Go ahead and fire off any questions. Um, there's one in here that was sent a little early on, so let me uh, just kind of touch that one. Um, the question was, is, is the NetMotion mobility product required, or can I use this for other devices, or I'm sorry, other, other users that don't use NetMotion products today? Like Eric mentioned, this is a standalone product, um, so it can absolutely be used in those environments where you, you don't have a, a user of NetMotion. Um, let's see, there's another question here. Um, this, this is a great question. It's a little specific, so I'm probably going to take that one offline. Um, George, if you don't mind, I'll, I'll reach out to you directly. Okay, other questions? Just wait a few minutes here. And again, just to mention also, as Eric pointed out in the beginning, everyone will get a copy of this presentation as well as a link to the recorded version so you can go back. And any questions, they, like the one that was just sent in, um, we get those questions sent to us so we, we can follow up with you directly. But you know, um, feel free to reach out to one of us as well after the, the presentation. Um, great question. What mobile operating systems are supported? So, um, excellent question. So, what we're focusing on as a company, and especially, I would say this year more than any year, and that's expanding our breadth of operating system support. So, mobile diagnostics, net motion diagnostics will be supported on uh, essentially all Windows platforms as well as Android and iOS. So, again, we're looking at really what mobile devices are out there and making sure that we support them. And uh, again, later this year, we may be expanding even beyond that. OK. 
So that is, is really our whole presentation for today. Again, Eric and I will stay on a little bit longer in case there's additional questions. Again, please feel free to use the question bar. Otherwise, feel free to drop off. Um, hope everyone enjoyed the webinar.